these photographs are just the most fabulous mirrors of a life that has long gone and their value lies in the fact that they are a reflection of something which evaporated over a hundred years ago and that they're just so revealing uh, and I think that's one of the things that good photography is and that is good photography is a mirror it reflects who we are where we've been we're very privileged to, that these have survived the ravages of time because they're in mint condition they were still retaining what to Corti said you know stay with your ancestors you know their beliefs reject 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 but he was basically saying go back to the ways of your forebears and they're all stunning record of you know places where for example people were killed in the eruption of Mount Tarawera you know and they've all passed on now they're all wider they're all spirit but amazing and the social realism in these is of considerable importance what we've got here are two photographs one is the original carte de visite of Anarupani from about 1876 and this is a photograph of a Lindau painting of the same subject but this one here I found absolutely fascinating well there's a few here and this here is a, a bathing pool at Whakarewarewa and there's a, a raft of people the communal lifestyle that the Maori had so in opposition to our family oriented society Ngāti Wahio was I think the tribe from there but uh, this is, you know, one of the most photogra photographed every day of its life by hundreds of people. Now this here is an early 20th century photograph of the two Māori carvers and the carved doorway that they've created. And of course the figure in the doorway playing his flute is the very foundation of the fertility myths that surround the Aroa Confederation of Tribes. And these are priceless documents, they really and truly are. We've got wonderful examples of cross-cultural architecture and we've got people wearing a miscellany of different clothes I mean it's fantastic it's a it's a window it's a window on a world that is long gone but there's still evidence of it there today